Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. Yeah, I am experimenting a bit with the new slim lines, but today, today we will talk about the Stabilizer Fragmentation Solo. Let me repeat that, the Stabilizer Fragmentation Solo. This used to be a dual mission, it had been removed when we got the daily rewards, but uh, at some point the devs decided to bring it back, and there was a lot of people that were not too happy to get it back, and even worse, they were, they were not too happy to get it back as a duo, but now they're giving us the mission as a solo. What you doing? So no more waiting for someone else to cure for that mission. As soon as we start to cure, we should be ready to go. Oh, this is a version of the mission we got. There's a handful of different missions we can get with this, uh, this solo mission. I don't think they've adjusted the difficulty, but already, even when it was a duo, we could already play it as a solo mission. Oh, I forgot to... Some old friend. So it's pretty much exactly the same mission. We still have three waves of evil minions trying to defeat us. And then we'll get the big boss. Death has come for you. worth coming back for so let's choose our loot uh, let's go for the neck piece so obviously in addition to destabilize our fragments we'll get some base items some source marks and some more base items so if you are a subscriber you will get nine stabilizer fragments if you're not a subscriber you will get five stabilizer fragments and as we just saw you will get some source marks and more and you can replay the mission if you want to but it will cost you 87 replay badges to replay the mission i would strongly suggest don't do that unless you have a whole bunch of replay badges that you don't know what to do with maybe you are not spending the replay badges you are getting with your subscription every month it is much much cheaper to simply just buy the stabilizer it is much cheaper to just buy one stabilizer than to use replay badges to replay the mission basically do the math you need 87 replay badges to replay the mission and even then, you only get 9 Stabilizer Fragments. You need 15 Stabilizer Fragments to create 1 Stabilizer. So if you replay the mission, it will cost you roughly 5 bucks to get uh, all of the Stabilizer Fragments you need to create 1 Stabilizer. But either way, much much cheaper to just buy the Stabilizer than to use Replay Badges to replay the mission. So don't do it. Do not use Replay Badges to replay the mission. It's not worth it. Also, a question that often, often comes back is Multiverse. How can we get free stabilizers? This is how. So there we go, guys. So people have been asking and asking to get the mission as a solo mission. And now, here we are. 